Extra Minutes. Parramatta Girls Home was closed down in the mid-70s after investigations into the abuse that happened there. Many, many, many young women have gone through there and, and those women, for their own protection, they would be taken either off the streets or away from their families and put into this home, which was also known as a school, and uh, given their best chance at life. That's, you know, that's what the gaff said, that's how it was sold. And um, the reality uh, for many of those girls over, over the decades was quite different. Valerie, like so many other people, believe that because girls are sent there, Parramatta Training School must be a heartless place devoted to corrective discipline, a place where individuality, personality could not exist, where fun and affection were unknown words. The superintendent will know the fear in her mind. How only time can destroy that fixation. He explains that this is not a place of punishment, but of education. That he or his deputy is always... All over. I don't need more dreams or waking up feeling... stuck. You know, the scars that these women wear are very deep-seated. They've been with them uh, for 40 or so years. They haven't forgotten what happened to them and um, and they're not young, frightened girls now, they're angry women and um, very, very aware that what happened to them was wrong. They should go to jail, they should be made responsible for the damage that they've done. They've got to face the damage that was done so we can move on a little bit, we've got to get justice. Being there physically, seeing where they were locked up in dungeons uh, in the dark with rats running around, uh, seeing just how, how horrifying that place was, uh, then their stories stay with you. You can't help but think about them. And, and some of the women talk about telling their parents that they were being beaten up and attacked. And their parents, it's not that they didn't love them, they just didn't believe them. They didn't believe that a place like that, which was meant to be taking care of them, uh, could be so violent. Guildford and Mayhew um, got me and threw me in the isolation cell and they kicked the crap out of me. They booted me and punched my ears in. They bounced me off every wall and they just kept laying the boot in. Sitting opposite these women, you can't help but be impacted by their stories because you can still see the pain in their eyes and their grandmothers today. And this happened to them when they were teenagers. You know, I think about that and and uh, and how you cope as a human being, and and you know, I don't I don't really know. Um, and so yeah, their stories will stay with me.